Good morning. Don Keith with the Diary of a Psychotic. This video blog is brought to you by Campbell's Soups. Mmm, -mm, good. <clears throat> okay, so Donald Trump surrendered himself and uh, was processed in Georgia. Okay. Well, the way the justice uh, system works in this country, if you are accused of a crime and you are arrested for it, you are Mirandized, in other words, given all your legal rights while you're arrested, then you're booked and processed, and they have mugshot, and now Donald Trump has an official criminal record. Okay. But he's still running for president. Okay? He isn't convicted of anything. In this country, you're uh, not guilty until you're proven otherwise. All right. Not so on social media. Oh boy. He's already been executed on social media. <laughs> or he's already been, man, I'm, I'm voting for him for president. I'm like, okay, 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 dumbass. You don't realize how badly, badly we were when he was taken out of office. And I mean, he had to literally be escorted from the office. He wouldn't leave. He promised he wasn't going to leave. He said, ah, the election was stolen. The election was stolen. I was the president and I get another term. Dude, he doesn't want another term. He wants to be there for the rest of his life. Well... I don't think the economy can take his policies for another term. We're still fixing the problems from, like, the Nixon administration. Every president since Richard Nixon has made the economy worse. Now, the way I, the way I see it, the economy is the most important thing to every one of us as United States citizens. It's how much money can we make to not only survive, but to succeed. Many of us in this country don't succeed anymore. I would say that about 65% of us that were offered the American dream when we were born here or immigrated here have not realized it. You know, the home of our own. Some, some of us have had homes of our own or homes that were owned by the banks. Uh, here's another rub that I don't even want to talk about. So if Donald Trump has been arrested and had his hearing, he's going to get his day in court. Okay. Think about this. He's not going to see a day in court. Okay. Because he has no peers to try him. In other words, have a trial. Who are we going to put on the jury? Huh? How can he get a fair trial? I mean, he was president of the United States. He's probably one of the most well-known faces and talked about people that there are. It is impossible to give Donald Trump a fair trial. Okay? That is the, the problem. All right? There have to be some kind of a settlement with him. One, he can't run for public office. I would, I would offer you cannot run for public office anymore, Mr. Trump. And he doesn't get the title Mr. President anymore. Those would be the only, only punishments that I could think that would be realized. He can't even talk about the fact that he was a president. Not to mention a good president or bad president. And I think everybody else should just stop talking about him. That's what I think. Just stop talking about him. That's all he wants is attention. He doesn't want to be president anymore. All right. He is the scar on the United States Constitution forever. Now, we thought this was going to be a peaceful process for, for forever. Well, it turns out, unless you get somebody like Donald Trump in office, January 6th aside, this day was coming. I, I got to say that this day was coming. We didn't have any way to avoid it. With the way 
The fourth estate is the media. And we're the media now, okay, on social media. We, we talk to each other like we're, like we're reporters or editors or publishers. Well, you're not. I'm not. I'm, yeah, I make a lot of YouTube videos and I, I write for uh, a couple of networks, but I'm nobody important and I'm nobody special and I'm not a big a celebrity as Donald Trump. All right? I'm Donald Keith, not Donald Trump. But to tell you something right now, I don't like being called Donald anymore. Okay, just call me Don. All right? I'll get some shout outs next time. This Diary of a Psychotic has been brought to you by Campbell Soups. Mmm, mmm.